and you're mad because Biggie wants to go. I, that, again, I said at the top of this video, you can't tell someone you don't like them and then tell them who they can hang out with. Lagerans coming at you a different video. Y'all know the thumbnail, y'all already know why we're here. This um week we do something different because y'all have to understand I can't break down 20 fights in 20 different videos. It's just too much. And most of these fights this episode was like 10 seconds long. Period. Period. So we're gonna just lump it all in on one episode review that but if you're new here please like comment and subscribe during the trendies we trend over here just let you know and let you know something real quick in my comment sections we keep it real but if you get rowdy we get rowdy as well but please y'all i'll be looking at my engagements there be a lot of y'all who don't not subscribe who be in the comments i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all down but please hit that subscribe button it helps it helps it helps it helps a lot if you i'm not gonna tell y'all yet I'm going to end of the video because I have a surprise. But I'm gonna tell you the first thing about surprise. My first surprise is I have a YouTube studio now, so I will be review. Uh, so we'll start. I will start doing things in there yet. This week we can't because it was too last minute. But yeah, thank you for everyone for being on this journey. Um, this summer we're gonna be continuing doing baddies. Where I'm dropping more fun videos outside of baddies, and I'm dropping a show on here. Oh, I cannot wait! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! But yeah, yeah, I already know the vibes. Let's get into the video. Let's start the episode six review like this. No shade. We're gonna bring up bring it up a topic. So we're not gonna spend too much time on it because we have to. Yeah, my honest opinions. We gotta give my honest opinions. First off, first note. I'm tired, Natalie. Miss Thing, I am tired of you saying that you don't like Biggie, but then you're mad that she hangs out with Tommy, her real friend, when you hang out with Jit. Like, I, it's just, it's just Natalie. You can't be saying you don't like somebody, but they can dictate who that person can talk to. It's no shade. Like, I wish one of my friends would not. If I was Tommy and Big was like, no, Nana doesn't want me to go, I'm punching you in your face. It's no shade. Like, what are we doing here? I feel like, Natalie, you have to cut that out. You have to let that go. It's just, it's, it's really, it's really like, I was watching the episode. I know I skipped ahead a little bit, but I, I, when I watched that part of this episode, I was getting so annoyed. Oh, my feelings was hurt. Da, da, da. Okay, and Biggie was feelings was hurt when you said on that podcast that you don't like her. Like, y'all be really picking and choosing, but then you don't have that same energy to Tiseki, Mariah, and Callie. Because they sat to dinner with her, too. But anyway, so let's go back to the top of the episode. So Meatball and Jayla have that big argument. I feel like... No I don't shit. feel like Meatball really had... I don't think her sticking up for Biggie was genuine. And y'all might disagree with me. If you disagree, let me know in the comments section down below. But I don't feel like her defending her was genuine because at the end of the day, you could have defended her scenes ago, episodes ago, on the beach. Like, at least this has been 20 times Natalie has said, if anyone has a problem, say it loud. I feel like it was very opportunistic. I feel like it wasn't genuine. And then how you go from saying, I don't care what went on, I don't care what went on. So when Jill explains it, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. I'm con I'm confused. Like, girl, what are we doing here? Hey, Jayla, I low-key wanted to see you have that same energy. But no shade, if I was Jayla, I would look at Meepo and laugh. <laughs> no shade. But Jayla, I low-key wanted you to have that same energy because I feel like if Biggie was to step at you like that, I feel like you would have hit her. In my opinion. But let's skip let's skip to the top of the cliff scene, y'all. This is why this is the scene where I was like, I'm doing I'm just gonna do a whole episode review because I it's just a lot. A lot of fights. Yo, one thing I say about this not ass TV girls, they will line everybody up. E.T., no shade. Girl, I know y'all have been following me for a while. I know I don't like E.T., but I've been seeing E.T. on social media. Like, I saw on the Lex YouTube when she, like, tried to prank her. E.T. has been looking good, and, like, I'm, I'm starting to get to know her. I like, I like, because I like her not ass TV. It's just Zeus messed it up. But E.T., you looking good, girl. I be seeing you. But, off topic. Um, But Diamond really lined those girls up. Do y'all believe that Slim... DNM of followers. Like, do y'all believe that they're followers? I don't know. If you don't think they're followers, let me know in the comments below. I don't I don't think they're followers. I just feel like they're kiss ups. Because like I don't understand how you met Tinka days ago and oh we're super close. Girl, I don't know y'all. Like, I've been having friends for months. We're not super close. I'm still getting to like I don't understand how y'all be doing this. Like, oh, we're super close. No, and I feel like Diamond was every right to say how she wanted to say and she did what she did. 
I do feel like Dia. I don't think Dia should be on the show, me personally. I don't think it gives her a great light. I don't think she's a fighter. Um, I will say I was on Spaces on Twitter. Follow the Zeus report. I'm going to post, I'm going to put this somewhere in the comment section. But um, Dia did join the Spaces and she, and she did say that um, she was talking about her brother uh, being um, murdered by the police in the Bahamas. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I do apologize, but I think pretty sure that's what it was. And how she talked about it and they cut it out. And Slim, she was talking about how she was a survivor of cancer and they cut it out. I don't like that. And for y'all to be like, oh, because um, she said that Natalie said that the viewers won't like it. They only want to see the fights. For us who watch Bad Girls Club, Jersey Shore, Mob Wives, all those old reality TV shows, they had stories. Each person had a story. Yes, they had fights. Yes, they had drama. Yes, they had everything. But they had stories on top of it. So I do feel like cutting out that is really disheartening, especially... Especially something like cancer. I feel like a lot of women in this world battle breast cancer and ovarian cancer. And I feel like having a woman go up there sharing that you can make it through really would show a lot. And the fact that they cut that out really kind of pisses me off. I'm like, not everything's about fighting. Not everything's about fighting. But you want to talk about getting to the bag 24-7. Let these girls have their stories. Let them girls talk about their stories. You think the fan favorite is just not being because you fight. Like, fan, like get to know these people. Like, that's that's what annoys me the most about this. That really pissed, that really pissed me off about this. But back to the fight. Um, I will say that ooh, Dom Nabai is still in business. She's still in business. Was was anybody really winning these fights? No, no, no I love you, girl. Hold away. I mean, I just don't like to fight. Ooh, wait a minute. How Diamond the Body and Tinka made up and then they fight? Like, girl, this whole app, this whole scene, like Geneva pops in and was like, oh, I didn't jump you. Her and Tinka fight. And then they hug and twerk on each other afterwards. I what? How do y'all fight somebody and immediately hug and kiss? And, I can't do that. I, I need a few days. <laughs> I can't be in the mode to really beat your face until it's bleeding. And then after that, oh, yo, what's up, bro? Just none of that. Y'all can call me immature. Let me know. Would y'all do that? Would y'all fight and make up the next second? I need time. I need time. No shade. I need time. But, um, what's up? <sighs> I mean, it was just a bunch of squabbles. Um, if you want to say anyone won the fight, I think Dia, I think Dia lost against Diamond. Slim <clears throat> got the advantage over Diamond, and I feel like Diamond got her redemption on Tinka. But it wasn't like, <clears throat> sorry y'all, it's not. I didn't see no one like really whoop nobody. I do feel though, however, uh, no, no, I like you, but I want to see more. And the crazy part is they probably do air stuff about you, but they just cut it out. Because, yes, you can fight, but it's giving, like, Jayla, you're picking on someone who know you can't fight. Then you, your excuse was, I want to take your spot. Y'all, this is not where you're not on primetime television. <laughs> you're on an app called Zeus. It's never that deep. I don't fault them because, you know, Natalie makes it clear I want girls who fight and make a fool and give me ratings. That's what Zeus wants. So it's like, I can't fault her. I can fault her morally, but I can't fault her in the realms of Zeus because that's what you have to do to go on the show, sadly. I would not do that for to get on the TV show, no. But, yeah. Uh, after that, they announced it's going to be in the house. Honestly, you should have brought everybody in. You know how pissed off I would be if I was Wendell Lee, I think it's her name, in heaven, and be like, oh, bye guys, always be baddies. Y'all better give those, new, those two girls spots on next season because there's no shit. Y'all should have brought those girls in the house. I mean... I, I personally wasn't mad at the decision. I think who Nunu made it in, um, Jo made it in. Who else? What's their names? This is a lot of these. A lot of motherfuckers. Um, who did I say? Nunu, Jo, Kiva. I think it's all three that made it in. And because Callie was already in the house already, but she just wasn't here. Yeah. But I, 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 this should just brought all of them in the house. Especially Aubrey was leaving, like. And then to be like, oh, Natalie's whole thing is always oh, just switch spots. I feel like I love Dia down. I, I, I become I became a fan of you being in the spaces and listening to you. So Dia, I'm in the spaces right now actually. So Dia, I from based off the episode, which what I've seen, I would have I would have got rid of you, and I would have got rid of. Raya, Sapphire. I mean, there's a lot of girls that's just not given. It's not. But yeah, those girls stay. 
Moving on to the table, dinner scene with Tommy, Biggie, Mariah Lynn, Seki, and Cali Webb. Um, it was a cute scene. I love how, <laughs> it's not that much to talk about here, but I love how Tommy looks over at the bitches getting up and she's like, yeah, you can leave. I thought that's so hilarious. <laughs> that's so fucking hilarious. Um, I do, I guess, respect Mariah Lynn for being neutral about the whole situation. But, I mean, there's nothing to talk about this scene. Like, um, I don't, I think, is, is she done with the season now? Is she done with the season? I think that's it with her, with the season. Um, I feel like Tommy should sit on the cast. Um, because I want Tommy to get her ones. They better bring her to the reunion. I'll need her to get her ones again. No hands being held down. Get your one. Get to the next scene. So, all at the, um, the house, in the living room, sitting down. This is where I'm about to have a lot of y'all come on my DMs and disagree with me because Taseki girl, you piss me the fuck off. Like Taseki girl, you're my girl. I love down, but it's like it, it, it's giving a little bit insecure how you're acting because I don't think she knows your man. One is your man. It's like it's not even serious. And then Mariah, here you go, girl. Mariah, you wanna you wanna defend all your bitches, but ain't none of your bitches gonna hop in your fights. Like you know, like Mariah, y'all already know that. But like Taseki, for you to walk in and hit her. I kind of lost a little bit. I still love you, but I lost a little bit of respect because for someone who stands on, I want to square up. For someone who stands on, I don't I don't fight fragile people. You know Jelly Bean was fragile. If Mariah can get her, you know she's fragile. Especially, since like you know you can beat up Callaway because your sister beat up Callaway. So the fact that Callaway beat up Jelly Bean, you come I lost, I, I lost a little bit of respect. Granted, I, I, did, I don't think Tuseki sneaked her. I just feel like, I don't think she sneaked her. I just feel like she kind of caught her off guard because if you watch the clip, you can see her getting up to hug her, which again, I don't think she's smart. I think Jelly Bean, you're kind of dumb because I would not, especially after the night before, I wouldn't try to hug her. But I feel like that fight was, that fight was not necessary. I feel like it's not needed. Tuseki, I love you down girl, but you get an L for that. Cut to now, Natalie's talking to Biggie. Biggie is like, um, you know, trying to be, oh, girl, girls is here, da, da, da. and Natalie was like, well, you wasn't here, da, 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 da. I'm like, you have all this pressure in your chest towards Biggie, and you're mad because Biggie wants to go. I, that, again, I said at the top of this video, Natalie, you have to pack it up. You can't tell someone you don't like them and then tell them who they can hang out with. Okay, Tommy's her friend. If you don't like her, that's your business. You still hang out with Jayla and Jayla bop Biggie in the back of the head multiple times. Like, what are we, what are we, what are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What, what are we really doing? We're not gonna talk about the club scene because you know I hate watching that scene. It's like 20 minutes of the club doing nothing. Last thing I wanna say in this review is Jayla versus Biggie. I hope this is the last freaking time we're talking about this fight. Jayla, let it go. Biggie, let it go. I said what I said in the other reviews that I did with Jayla versus Biggie. I'm not doing that again. I feel like they fought at the, at the dinner. I feel like in the house, I feel like Jayla dragged it. I didn't. I don't think Jayla bullied her, but I do say she, Jayla did drag it. She did drag it a little bit because no shade. It's like, I mean, I guess she, she scratched you when you get another look back. Me personally, I'm not going to keep fighting someone I know I can one beat, already beat, and know it's not a fighter. But that's that's my opinions. Um, I'm sorry. This is the type of video you can get for me this week. Um, if you want me to start doing more reviews, I can. It's just, it's hard to do fights on episodes like this when it's like 20 fights in like under like 10 minutes. It's a lot of back to back to back to back. I won't be doing a review. I'll be doing Meepo versus Gretchen because I saw that in the, I saw that in the trailer. So look out for next week. And you already know, guys. I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.